Oh, hi. Yes, it's a dark one. Um, it's about 4.30 in the morning, and I've been up for a couple hours. <laughs> so, I decided to make a video. It's been a while since I made one of these dark ones. But, um, I just wanted to say that it is with great satisfaction that um, I am where I am. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. I've come a long way. And this time last year, um, this time last year, there were some really seriously powerful attacks happening to me. And I know exactly where it was coming from. I knew then exactly where it was coming from. And, um, and I knew that I should not have been attacked the way that I was. And, um, you know, whatever is what it is. And I am where I am now. And I wasn't in a good spot this time last year. I was in a very, very, very bad fucking spot, actually. Um, so, you know, whatever. You kind of like... I say you. <laughs> uh, facilitated, you know, something for me that sort of just needed to happen. And I'm strong enough to deal with whatever it is. So I did it. But I see it still happening. It's not happening to me, though. I'm sitting here with satisfaction knowing I was right. I knew exactly where it was coming from. There was no reason for me to know. And now I see it happening to somebody else. And um, here's the thing, right? I think when I uh, start using... Uh, divination too much and um, when you are focusing your magical energy and intent on another person um, whether they be the object of your desire or um, you know or they're in the way you're really taking such a risk because you cannot force any of these things you cannot force it and where you force you're going to find resistance and where you find resistance you're going to want to blame somebody and if your um, MO is a warpath then you're gonna feel the effects of that especially especially if you're sending out this energy at people and it's not warranted I think this is just like the basics of magic isn't it <laughs> I don't I don't quite understand sometimes what I see but power and desire push people to do things that they might not normally do so or maybe they, or that they are, push people to do things that they are predisposed to do and have to work hard not to. So, <clears throat> careful with those vindictive bones in your bodies, people. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. And a lot of times, um, you know, uh, the clap back to a perceived um, injury, I guess you can say, <clears throat> is um, actually like a front wave attack. And honestly, what you need to do is recalibrate and take your energy back take your energy back 
not what you perceive someone has stolen from you. Recalibrate yourself. Self-center. I don't like to see people suffering. I don't like being... I don't like being the victim of an attack. <clears throat> the target. I don't like that. But whatever. So if you're being attacked, know that if you're righteous, you know, if you keep your nose clean, if you, uh, you know, so to speak, if you're blameless... You got nothing to worry about. You got nothing to worry about. But if you think you deserve something, a situation, a position, a person... If you think you deserve something and you're not getting it and that makes you angry, you got a lot of soul searching to do. I'm going to go. Um, <clears throat> I hope that was useful. And um, thanks, guys. Have a good one.